Hello everyone, I am Dr. Prajwit Rai. Today I am going to tell you about Kallikrain kinin system because even this has some interaction with coagulation cascade. Now the pre-Kallikrain can be present in the plasma or it can be present in the tissue will be activated by the factor 12, active factor 12 into Kallikrain. Now this Kallikrain will break either the high molecular weight kininogen or the low molecular weight kininogen, the high molecular weight kininogen in the plasma or the low molecular weight kininogen in the tissues and it will break the high molecular weight kininogen into bradykinin and it will break the low molecular kininogen into calidin or lysyl bradykinin. Now this uh, the high molecular weight kininogen or low molecular weight kinogen will have effect on the factor 12 and factor 11 and it activates it. So it will be a chain of reaction. The factor two, 12 has led to the activation of the high molecular weight kinogen which in turn activates the factor 12. It's a chain of reaction that is happening now. Now similarly the calicrane again activates the factor 12 and the factor 12 will in turn activates the calicrane. So this is how the, the coagulation cascade has an interaction with the Kallikrain kininogen system and if you see now what exactly we, we have studied the factor 12 gets activated which activates Kallikrain which converts the high molecular weight kininogen into bradykinin and this bradykinin the, this high molecular weight kininogen has again its effect on the factor 12 and this Kallikrain has again its act, action on the factor 12 and it will activate it. Now what does this bradykinin do? This bradykinin receptors are present throughout when it acts on the blood vessels, it increases the permeability, causes the vasodilatation, whereas it causes the bronchoconstriction in the bronchus and it causes pain and chemotaxis. So these are inflammatory changes that will be set in by the bradykinin. This is in short about uh, how a bradykinin, uh, calicrin kinin system works and how the bradykinin is formed and how it causes inflammation. Thank you everyone.